Hey YouTube, how's everybody today? Uh, it's nice to hear, as usual. Uh, so today I want to talk about a collaboration album between uh, uh, Anticon producer and beatmaker by the name of Alias, real name uh, Brendan Whitney, and this uh, New York based chanteuse by the name of Tarzir, real name Rona Rapidos. Uh, this is a bicoastal collaboration because Alias being from Oakland and Tarzir being from Brooklyn and they switched up the last half of the the names of their respective origins just to, I don't know, create some weird title. Uh, yeah, Tarzir, like I said, she's based out of New York. She's also part of this Folktronica band and some people online are calling it Cinematronic music. Uh, the name of the group she's from is called Gila Monster and Tarzir. Uh, Tarzir is also the name of this uh, lemur like kind of primate monkey, one of those little kind of koala bear like things with the great big eyes. Uh, I'll post a link to whatever kind of animal that is. They're pretty adorable looking. Uh, yeah, the story behind this album is Alias uh, made an album in 2003 called Muted. Uh, I don't think that album was all that special, but uh, Tarzir picked it up and was really, really impressed by it and decided to send Alias an email, I guess. She somehow got his email address, uh, told him how much she enjoyed the album, if he'd consider, you know, checking out her music, her band, if he'd consider doing remixes for it. And Alias said he just accidentally, you know, clicked on her email and read it and sent her four tracks, because he was impressed with the music she was making as well, it was mutual respect. Sent her four tracks, told her, you know, just pick one of these, you can sing over it, send it back to me, we'll see what we can do. And that was the start of this 21 month uh, long collaboration between the two artists, and they never met face to face until this album finally surfaced in, yeah, like around 2006, or a little bit before, I guess. Uh, the music on this album is actually just with this very kind of trip-hop-like, very ethereal, not Anticon-esque at all. It, it breaks a lot of Anticon uh, connotations and aesthetics. It doesn't have any weirdo rapping or freakouts or no real genre envelope pushing. Uh, it's very much so this very sparse and ambient kind of dark and moody like kind of Portis head ish kind of like I said trip hop it sounds a lot like Portis head or massive attack or just like sneaker pimps some people online are comparing it to Dido and I'm like I don't know if I really agree with that it sounds kind of like cop toe twins maybe if they met some sort of you know hip-hop beat maker or something like that it kind of reminded me of uh, Chino Marino side project too, team sleep uh, but yeah, all it is is pretty much just Alias is making all these kind of ethereal beats with like skittering drums and like, you know, shimmering synth lines, making those very sparse ambient beats and then Tarzir is just singing over it with this like very haunting and silky voice. Uh, Tarzir doesn't really switch up her melodies from song to song, she kind of keeps it in the same key, in the same tone. Uh, and it's really up to Alias to keep the songs kind of going and like interesting and it, they have a very good chemistry. Uh, Tarzir's vocals or lyrics I mean tend to be about like existential topics and aren't really about anything in specific just kind of like dreamlike scenarios and songs about metamorphosis and she has this very sense of like loneliness and longing in her vocals. Uh, and it comes, she soars over, like, she sings over the beats very, very well. Like, the music on here is very, like, cold and calm, very kind of lush. Uh, yeah, th there's some guest appearances on this album, too, because it is an Anticon album, so, like, Dose One has to be on it. But he's only on one song, and he actually compliments the music quite well, even though he's still doing, like, his rapid fire you know, 50 words a minute kind of, or 50 words a second kind of rap flow that he does, but it doesn't get too annoying. Uh, Telephone Jim Jesus actually plays acoustic guitar on track four called Dr. C, which is actually a pretty good song. It might be one of the highlights of the album. 
There's also uh, cello being played by a girl named Kristen McCord on track six called Five Year Eve. That's also a very good track. Uh, for the most part, it's a pretty solid album. Like, it doesn't have a lot of variety, but it does have a lot of emotion. It's very much so like a moody album. This is I think that'll make you like, you know, get up and go or anything like that. It's very much so like a calm and reflective type of album. And there's not much in the way of artwork on here. Just a lot of uh, orange and blue, very cold blue color combinations of pictures of cities, people crossing the streets, and there's all their lyrics there you can also read. And obviously like the blue and orange symbolizes or symbolic of like probably the collaboration with like Tarzir being the orange and the language vocals and the blue being like alias is very cold, ambient beats. But like I said before, this isn't like your typical anti-con, like annoying quotation marks kind of hip-hop album at all. It's not really hip-hop whatsoever. There's only rapping on two tracks out here, and the rest of it is just Tarzir's very ethereal singing on it. But yeah, if you're a fan of Portishead or Massive Attack, Sneaker Pimps, like even Bjork maybe a little, like if you're a fan of trip-hop at all, or just very laid back, very cold language instrumentation and very uh, maybe even like a little bit mournful kind of vocals that has a lot of you know violins and pianos over like skittering drum beats and weird synthesizers and drum programming like that you might be into this album like a lot of the girls I showed this to at the work I used to well I still work at this bar called Red Star and I sh I'd listen to this in the kitchen and a lot of the waitresses would like ask me for a deck of them a copy of this so even my ex-girlfriend kind of liked this album a lot too, she'd always play it in her car, so yeah, I just wanted to plug this album too to see if anyone else online could probably get into it, I guess. I found it a pretty enjoyable album, even though some critics online are saying it's pretty mediocre and predictable, but I don't know. Despite all that, it's still a very good album. Breaks a lot of anti-con conventions, which I also like, so yeah, Alias and Tarzir, Brooklyn, Oakland. 2006 Anticon Records. Cool little shoegaze trip hop type album. Check it out. Bye.